Now to West Mifflin, where extra security will also be on the field tonight. Uh, their opponent, Franklin Regional, is also bringing its own additional manpower. And Chris Hoffman spoke with West Mifflin Police and the superintendent and joins us live with what they had to say. Chris. Yeah, good afternoon. Every threat is taken seriously. You can't have too many precautions anymore, especially after a man was shot and killed outside Jeanette's football game last Friday. But according to officials, what happened today was false information hit social media and then just continued to spread. West Mifflin School District Police Chief Richard Pritchard's coach, cheer coach and band director about emergency procedures at the stadium on Thursday. He let them know there will be a heavy police presence at the Friday football game. They plan to have seven school police officers, security, and two to four West Mifflin Borough officers. Word of mouth stories morphed this meeting into a dangerous rumor. With that, it just went wild into where it's going to be a shooting. By Friday, this turned into a post about possible threats of a shooting on Facebook. It uh, made its way to social media, and from there it just ballooned. It led to West Mifflin police investigating the claim most of the morning and early afternoon until they deemed it to be unfounded. It's going to be business as usual. We're going to obviously we you know we, we know that things have occurred around the area and um, we're aware of that. But um, yeah, it's going to be business as usual. But chief does want everyone to always be vigilant when out at events. He still wants people to live by see something, say something and don't take a rumor you hear to the public before you contact police. We need information to uh, make sure that we can substantiate any threat. And Franklin Regional is not taking any chances. They sent out an email to staff and put out information on Twitter saying they will have extra personnel at tonight's game. And they, too, are working with West Mifflin Police to make sure everyone has a safe and fun time here tonight. We're live in West Mifflin. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.